Good evening, church. Good afternoon, church. I'm Denise Fountain. I will be your moderator for this evening, this wonderful service. I invite you to please remain standing as we bow in prayer to begin this service. I would ask that you have your response to me when I say, Lord, hear our prayer. What am I missing? <laughs> when I say, Lord, in your mercy, your response would be, hear our prayer. <laughs> the devil is still a liar. Please bow your heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this evening. We thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for your goodness and for your mercy. And we thank you for Neil Nan, whom you've called to serve your people. Lord, in your mercy, in our prayer. Father, we ask your blessings upon this evening's event. We ask your presence and we ask by the power of your Holy Spirit that you be with us throughout this event. Lord, in your mercy, yeah, Father, we know that you've called him to do a work and you have equipped him for the service that is ahead. We ask that you go before him, that you be his guide, that you be his God, and that you lift up your angels all around him. Lord, in your mercy, yeah, Father, we ask that you prepare the way for him, that you would be there whenever the path become crooked or rough, that you will hold his hands when he become discouraged, that you would let him know that you are God and besides you there is none other. Lord, in your mercy, yeah, Father, we ask that you give him vision, we ask that you give him wisdom. We ask, Father God, that you cause him to understand the things that are difficult and enjoy the times when things are good. Father, we ask that you always cause him to reverence you and to seek you when he is in doubt. Lord, in your mercy. Father, we ask that as he go forth into his ministry, to serve the people of Andros, that as he moved throughout the streets of Andros, not only in the Anglican church, but wherever he come across those that are oppressed, those that need to hear a word of encouragement, that you would equip him and quicken his spirit, that he would be a source of comfort to all. Lord, in your mercy, Father, we ask that you sharpen his eyes and give him wisdom that when he is in the midst of toil and turmoil, that he will know what to say, what not to say, when to say, and when to be silent. Lord, in your mercy, Father, we lift him up before you now and we commit him to you, for you have called him to this work and to the ministry of your people. And so, Lord, we ask that you guide and direct him in everything that he do. Father, help him not to be concerned about the things, about his wife, his family, knowing that you are God, and besides you, there is none other. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. Father, be his shepherd, be his guide. Father, help him when he whisper your name, Answer him when he call. Father, be with him, I pray, this day, now and forevermore. Lord, in your mercy. In our prayer. We thank you, Father, for accepting our prayers of intercession for Neil Nan this afternoon. And we ask, Lord God, that you continue to guide and direct him, and to be with him, and to be with Judy, and to be with the family, and to, to, be, to have concern for everything that he is concerned about. But most of all, Father, make him a priest among priests, that he would be a shepherd for his people. Lord, in your mercy. 
Amen. Amen. Please be seated and we will now invite Mrs. Vanda McDonald in a solo. reading from the Word of God, written in Job chapter 11, verses 1 through 9, and 13 through 20. Then so far the Namathites answered, Should the multitude of words go unanswered, and should one full of talk be vindicated? Should your Bible put others to silence, and when you mock, shall no one shame you? For you say, My conduct is pure, and I am clean in God's sight. But oh, that God would speak, and open his lips to you and that he would tell you the secrets of wisdom. For wisdom is many-sided. Know then that God exacts of you is less than your guilt deserves. Can you find out the deep things of God? Can you find out the limit of the Almighty? Is it higher than heaven? What can you do? Deeper than Sheol, what can you know? 
It measures, its, its measure is longer than the earth and broader than the sea. If you direct your heart rightly, you will stretch out your hands towards him. If inequity is in your hand, put it far away, and do not let the wickedness reside in your tents. Surely then, you will lift up your face without blemish. You will secure, and you will not fail. You will forget, the, you will, you will forget your misery. You remember it is waters that are passed away, and your life will, look, will be brighter than the noonday. Its darkness will be like the morning, and you will have confidence, because there is hope. You will be protected and take your rest in safety. You will lie down and no one will make you afraid. Many will entreat your favor, but the eyes of the wicked will fail, and all the ways of escape will be lost to them. And their hope is that their breath is, that, is to their last breath. The word of the Lord. in John chapter 8, verse 47 to 59. Whosoever is from God hears the words of God. The reason you do not hear them is that you are not from God. The Jews answer them, are we not right when we, are, when we say that you are a Samaritan and have a demon? <coughs> Jesus answered, I do not have a demon, but I honor my father 
and you dishonor me. Yet I do not seek my own glory. There is one. I do not seek my own glory. There is one who seeks it, and he is the judge. Very truly I tell you, whosoever keeps my word will never see death. The Jews said to him, Now we know that you have a demon. Abraham died, and so did the prophets. Yet you say, Whosoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died? The prophets also died. Who do you claim to be? Jesus answered. If I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. It is my Father who glorifies me. He of whom you say, he is our God. Though you do not know him, but I know him. If I would say that I do not know him, I would be a liar like you. But I do know him, and I keep his word. Your ancestor Abraham rejoiced that he would see my day. He saw it and was glad. Then the Jews said to him, You are not 50 years old, and have you seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, before Abraham was, I am. So they picked up and said to them, So they picked up stones to throw, to throw at him. But Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple. The word of the Lord. You raise me up to more than I 
name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. The sixth verse of the first chapter, the book of Joshua. Be strong and of a good courage. Be strong and of a good courage. Today the family of St. Agnes is gathered in thanksgiving to God and with appreciation to Neil Garand Nen, priest, for his many years of service within and through this parish family of St. Agnes. The time has come for him to take the reins of leadership and cause the people of God where he is now, where he now goes, to experience the true heritage for which they have been appointed. With this in mind, I invite us all to come and share in the experience as recorded in the book of Joshua. Moses is dead, and the Lord says to Joshua the son of Nun, Moses is now dead. Therefore, he must now, you must now take on the leadership of the people of God and lead them over the Jordan River to the land promised. The Lord gives the assurance that no one shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life, Joshua. He says to Joshua, as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not fail you nor forsake you. Just be strong and of a good courage. For you shall cause the people of Israel to inherit the land which I swear to their forefathers. He further says to Joshua, only be strong and very courageous, being careful to do according to all the laws of Mo that Moses commanded you. Turn not from the right nor the left, that you may have good success wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, for you shall meditate on it day and night, that you be careful to be according to all that is written in it, for where you shall make your way prosperous and you will have good success. Be neither frightened nor dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Today, Father Neil, we just want to say thank you for the many things you have been able to share in and with us here at St. Agnes for the pain and the setbacks, for the dis disappointments, the joy and the celebrations, the healthy and the not so healthy, the ill and the confined, the encouragers and the cranky. And I am sure you will ref reflect on the many visits to the cemetery while here. You have seen them grow from boys to young men. You have seen them grow from infants to boys. You have seen them grow from girls to young ladies. Now it is time for you to begin another era. And now you must realize that being an ordained person in God's one holy Catholic and apostolic church is no bed of roses or hibiscus. It is not even an easy road, yet 
God calls you and causes you to be relevant wherever you go, calling you to be the servant of all. There is no die that you may cast, but appropriately adjust yourself to the needs and circumstances. There were times when you would have clasped your hands, and yet there were times when you had to compromise the cologne on your hand. When you reflect, it is all God's calling to you. As you leave us, we say, go with God. Be a man of God. Be a strong man. Be a man of prayer. Be a wise man. You are going in an area of much challenge. You have experienced what happens here in New Providence. It is worse on the family islands. You are going into pockets and your call is to bring the pockets together and make them strong in the Lord. You are going in an area where you have the task of building a new church structure. Some people will help you. They will help you because they will share in your vision. Some people will help you because they are looking for billet and control. Be mindful always of the admonishment given to Joshua. Be strong and of good courage. People will love you until you upset them. Then they will connive against you. Everyone in the choir is not singing the praises of God. Some are sending musical threats at you. Remember that every tooth is not necessarily enamel. Some are porcelain. And some are just cavities of rotten matter. Keep clear of news carriers. Remember what they are animal that brings bone, carries bone. Keep focus and do not depart from the call of God to you because he has promised to be with you wherever you go. Your challenge is to keep the five congregations in Central Andrus together. Teach worth and value. Preach Jesus and Jesus Christ crucified. Be the priest to all the people. Some people feel that because they give money to the church, they are exempted from the word of God and rebuke. Preach in season and out of season. Be true to God and be true to yourself. All of us have fallen short of the glory of God and all of us need God's forgiveness and grace. Amidst the challenges you will face, build on what you meet in the parish. You do not have time to criticize what the other priest did. Build on what you meet. Make the worshiping congregation in the parish Anglican. Make the worshiping congregations in the parish Anglican. Provide for them the necessary tools for worship and study. Be a priest, a pastor, and a practitioner. There will be times when you will feel all alone. There will be times when those whom you thought were genuine are proven otherwise. My friend, 
trust God. And he will make a way out of no way. There will be some wilderness experiences. But boy, trust God. Even in the time of hunger, he provides food. Even in the time of thirst, he provides drink. Even in the time of claustrophobia, he will make a way to the other side. Trust God. Love your people, all of them. Even those whom you know are doing you wrong, leave them to God. Just love them. Some will call the bishop. Some will write letters to the bishop on you. That's a part of the life. Because you have tread on their comfort zone. The church is not a platform for practicing politicians. It is where sinners come in need of God's grace. And your job is to assist them as you need to be aware of yourself, to know God uh, in each life and to cause him to be revealed through the acceptance and commitment of each person. Some will want you to make wrong sacred so they can brag, not boast, brag, but be strong and of good courage. Say your prayers, Babai, as you promised before the altar at your ordination, and find time to pray. I want to re-emphasize that. Say your prayers, but pray. There are some times when you need just to pray. Pray to God in secret. And the God who hears in secret will reward you openly. Pray like the Hebrew children. Pray like Paul and Silas. Do some serious praying. Find time for quiet and space to listen to God because he will be speaking to you. As you sit on that balcony looking over the Fresh Creek Harbor, find time to hear God speak to you in the solitude of your being. Be strong and very courageous. Be not frightened, neither dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you everywhere you go. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. I'll give you an opportunity now to greet your neighbor next to you. And as we do that, we can sing 525, just a closer walk with thee, and greet your neighbors and feel welcome in this place today. Just a closer walk with thee.
church. You can sit down now, church. Take your seats. Thank you very much. The Lord be with you. Please take your seats. Archdeacon will now give the notices. Good afternoon, friends. Just to remind you briefly of our services, um, um, this week, anyone having service after this, um, please take up the offering and turn off the air and secure the collection um, for us tomorrow. But um, we want to remind you that there's Mass this week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, at the usual times, on Wednesday at the usual times, and on Saturday at its usual time. Um, in our prayers, we continue to pray for the sick, pray for those who are sick at home and convalescing at home, and of your charity, let us pray for the faithful departed, upon their souls and other Christian souls, sweet Jesus, may have mercy. Uh, this past week, we had Miss Sybil Rule, who died. She will be buried on Saturday the 12th. The 12th at 11 o'clock. We have two funerals next weekend, or this coming weekend. Um, Ms. Althea Conliffe, who will be buried on Saturday at 11, and Ms. Lewingston Bostwick, who will be buried here on Sunday at 2.30. Um, I need not say Mr. Bostwick is a part of the choir, and so all the choirs and the related organizations are to be here in number we will take him to the cemetery. And so please rub down for that writers and, and stuff so you could be able to, to walk um, to the cemetery on Sunday. We have gathered here as a family um, to express our appreciation and love to Father Neil Nen, who has been here with us at St. Agnes for some seven years. And um, we will want to wish him the very best uh, as he starts in his new form of ministry and responsibility. He may need some rest, having been here for seven years, because we really wake him to death. And um, thank God for vitamin C and B12. Um, but we thank you very much, Father, for your efforts, your vision, your energy, your strength, your objections of times. And uh, we look forward to your great work in, in Andrus. There's a lot of work to do. And so when you begin your work, there are a lot of fresh Greek people here. And they made sure they um, are announced. And there are some Calabash Bay people here as well. And um, I don't know anybody from Bowen Sound. Hmm? Yeah. And um, Stanley Creek. And uh, so we will do our best to assist you in doing whatever we can. Um, so you do your best. And do your best. And do your best. Only your best you could do. 
and I'm sure you will get the support that is necessary. As I said before, you got to love everybody, even those who are conniving against you, and you're going to find that in every church. Don't mind them throwing up the hand. Watch how they live. And um, we wish you the very best. And so at this time, we're going to ask persons who want to make presentations to Father Nan to come forward. And um, is a selection for you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you want me to sing, you say? It'd be nice. Sing a song for Father Nan. I'm from Mangrove Key, you know. We could sing. You know that. Oh. Okay. All right, all right, the offering first. And you take it from there, I go in. Mm. So as you uh, dig deep into your pockets, I would like for us to prepare to bring your offering. We'll take up an offering first, and, and during the offering, we'll have a selection by Camille Delavo. Uh, following the offering, we'll start off with the tributes. I would like to, to put it in some order, I don't have a list of persons, and so it's going to be open to whosoever will. But I would like to have the church groups, if you have a planned offering, then I will call you in that order, the offering and a selection.
with wind and flame I will tend the poor and lame I will set a feast for them My hand will save Finest bread I will provide Till their hearts be satisfied Thank you. Father Nen, we're going to ask that you come forward. We ask the ACW, the ACM, to come forward at this time, followed by the Archer, Bain, Albury, and Min's family. Madam Moderator, members of the clergy, Vastry family, St. Agnes, the Nan family, Father Nan, family and friends, good afternoon. On behalf of the ACW, I wish to thank Father Nan for his prayers and his support, to thank him for his faithfulness and dedication to ministry. The truth is often we are just humbled into greatness. Greatness not being that we're a star, some superstar, but simply that we just do the will of God. And Father Nan, we thank you for your obedience in doing God's will. We thank God that he allowed you to come this way he placed you this way so that our ministry is also effective. We've heard your words, it's not, our, it's not our agenda, but it's God's agenda. Do it God's way, and it'll work out the best way. We thank you, and we continue to say that you have made us proud. You, all we ask is that you continue to give us more opportunities to brag about you. May God continue to bless you, and on behalf of the ACW, also the Royal family, Super Royal family, my personal family, we say thank you. And the ACW is presenting to you a 60-inch flat-screen television. So when you're not looking over the harbor or you're in the church, not in prayer, you'll have a moment to pray. And of course, we're coming to enjoy it with you soon. So may God continue to bless you. And of course, to Judy, Judy, who is also a part of us, we are most grateful to have had you as a part of our lives. We'll be here to support you. May God bless you. Father Nen, Father Neil, namesake. It's always tough to follow the president of the ACW. Um, I'm lost for words after that, but uh, protocol already being established. On behalf of our president, the executive board, and the entire membership of the ACM, we'd like to present you a small token of our appreciation and to thank you for your years of dedication to our, our establishment. Thank you so very much. Thank you.
ันเน้นโอ้ sorry วันเน้น this is offspring of the oldest one of the oldest families in St Agnes Church the Archibald and father you have just come here recently but you have done a lot for this family in the short space of time that you've been here and we're going to miss you greatly so in appreciation we are presenting you this plaque no. The plaque reads, presented to Father Neil Nen, in appreciation of your service as assistant curate of St. Agnes Anglican Church, and for the invaluable assistance you've provided to the Archer, Bain, Mins, and Aubrey families. We thank you, and we wish you, Almighty God's unchanging and unceasing blessings. Thank you. We'll now call on the communications ministry, the Saturday morning crew, pastoral care, the choir. We'll have the communications ministry and the choir first. Father Nen, on behalf of the Communications Ministry, I would like to present you with this small token of our appreciation. Uh, we wish you Godspeed and all the best in Andrus. And should you ever need anything, I won't be here, but I'm sure Dr. Pandora Johnson will mobilize her team to help you whenever you need it. Dr. Johnson, he says he needs a sound system for the church. <laughs> Saturday morning crew, Christian education, pastoral care. <laughs> Father, Father Neil, the senior choir would like to wish you all the best as you move on to another part of the vineyard in, in Andrus. And we will always be there to support you as you, as you need us to. And we know that music has been a big part of, of your ministry here even, and a lot of times you even tend to take our thunder and sing your own sing. But, um, um, so on behalf of the choir, we'd like to give you this small token of our appreciation and wish you all the best. We are a part of the Saturday morning group, and for all of those persons who are uh, regular attendees of the Saturday morning group, can you stand where you are um, while we make the presentation? Now, the Saturday morning group really, um, truly, uh, is supposed to be catering to our young people, okay? Um, this age group, this age group, no, no, this, this age group, uh, younger, and up to this age group here. And the purpose is for them to get teaching. Teaching on the church, on the word, on Anglicanism, okay? From our spiritual uh, guides. We um, are still encouraging you parents to send your children out. Uh, change the culture a little bit. Okay, we know we have a lot going on out there in the social atmosphere of our country, and it's changing everything. But let's try to stem that flow, and let us start to bring our children out on Saturday mornings. Let them come out in numbers. After, yeah, he's gonna do it. <laughs> we will, we will, we will take care of them. We will feed them after they have had a mass, and if 
whatever season is in, we will exercise them for track and field, volleyball, softball, basketball. Okay? Now, let me let this young man read. We give thanks first to the Almighty God for having blessed us by allowing us to have you with us for the past seven years. You have been dedicated and devoted to the call that you have graciously accepted. You have met some of the many challenges that comes with practicing the vocation for which you have been chosen. The family St. Magnus Parish loves you and appreciate the time you spent in this side of God's vineyard. We thank you for having tried your best in delivering God's message to encourage and guide us to accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. For this, first four of your favorite hymn, 657, lets you know from where your blessings come. As you move to another side of this great vineyard, we, we congratulate you. We wish you and your family the best as you go with God's richest blessing. May your efforts with God's help cause you to accomplish much in the future. Now on behalf of the Saturday morning congregation, we give you a token of appreciation. Thank you and congratulations. Good evening, church. It's indeed a pleasure to be here on behalf of the Christian Education Ministry to present Father Nan with a small token of our appreciation for his support, ongoing support and encouragement to Vacation Bible School especially, and also individual support that he has given to us from day to day. Father Nan, we congratulate you and we wish you all the best as you empower others and as you just build up the body of Christ. And may God continue to bless you as we present this token to you. And also, uh, on behalf of the Hannah family, particularly uh, your girls, Kate and Kiara, we like to present these tokens to you. Thank you. All the best. Um, the Northern Crew, the Pastoral Care, uh, Mrs. Rosie Watkins and members of the of Old Souls Chapel yeah. and All Souls Chapel. Thank you. One minute. Father, on behalf of the Northern Crew, we would like to wish you all the best. Well, we can't afford a TV or a sound system at this moment, but we can send you a box of off, because, or a case, because you might need it. <laughs> I want you to know we're gonna miss your bear hugs, Show them how you do it, Father. <laughs> and that strong kiss that you plant on our cheeks. Show her how you do it, Father. <laughs> you know we love you. And we'll always carry you in our hearts. So we want you to take this small appreciation from the Northern Crew, and from another one, and another one, and another one. More to the back, and another one. And Father, there's a phone number on one of those. Okay. And just remember, if you need anything, we are only one phone call away. Thank you. Father Nan, I just want you to know that we love you sincerely 
and we would miss the hugs. And we would just want to say thank God for being here because I just want you to know it's a celebration that we love you. And like Daniel said, it's always a phone call away. And definitely, we would be coming to Andres. Pastoral Kale, the Usher Board, uh, Mrs. McDiggin. Be not dismayed or will there be tied. God will take care of you and your family. And may his joy continue to be your strength. We know you will do well wherever you go. On behalf of the Pastoral Care and Counseling Ministry, we would like to present to you this token of our love and appreciation for all you have done for us. And Ms. Louise Sawyer, I normally go to visit her on Sunday mornings, and she said to me this morning, please, please let Father Nair know that she would have loved to be here this afternoon, but because of her illness, she's not able to. But she too would like to give you a little token. something. Please accept this gift as an expression of our sincere gratitude, especially to our beloved Ken. You were regarded as family as you accepted to be one of his pallbearers, for which we are truly grateful. Your deeds speak for yourself far better than anything I can say. With all you have done, it would be most, it would seem most a lifetime could not em encompass them all, yet you find, found the time and energy to serve, to work, and to lead, shouldering burdens with, failing, with unfailing good humor and grace. I am sure the tolerance and patience you have shown will be carried on to your new service. God bless you and keep you healthy and steadfast. It's fondest love, Aunt Gwen. Good afternoon, church. Father Neil Nairn, seven years have passed, and we're truly grateful to have you with us. And we would like to say on behalf of our president, Rudolph Stubbs, and the officers and members of the Usher Board, we thank you for the privilege to have you. We want you to know that you have been gentle, kind, and caring. We want you to know we love you. So we make a presentation on behalf of the Usher Board for you, sir, and we trust that God would take care of you in your time of need. And as everybody has said, please just give us a call. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, church. I haven't come to make a presentation. I've already given Father Neil uh, my old age pension I gave him. Uh, I just wanted to say a word of appreciation. Uh, he has mentioned already that I am responsible for his being here at St. Agnes. What he did not know was that 
I made a decision as diocesan that he was only doing a two-year course at Codrington, and I figured that he needed to go to a church where he would get the full works. <laughs> um, well, as you all know, St. Agnes is very dear to me, so I wouldn't send any and everybody to St. Agnes. So I am pleased to note that he has done well. I didn't expect him to spend seven years, but he was like Jacob uh, in his love for his first wife, that he was, he was prepared to even do a second seven years. <laughs> I'm surprised at all of the speeches. No one has asked him to convert the crabs to send them back to St. Agnes. <laughs> He is going to the Fresh Creek area, which is inundated with crabs. So when you, when you are in touch with him, just remind him that he must send some of the crabs back to St. Agnes. But Father Neil, we want to let you know that we will continue to pray for you and that you will, as the rector told you, you must learn how to love people. The church is not buildings. The church is made up of people. And when you are people oriented and love and care for people, they will bring all kind of gifts for you. You'll be able to save most of your small stipend if you learn how to treat people well. But you do that not for what you expect to get from them, but to be an agent of a loving, caring God in the midst of God's people. So, a short flight from Bahamas Air will take you to Fresh Creek, travel safely, and work hard for the Lord. Thank you. Thank you uh, much has been said, and um, we just want his dear wife to stand and just thank her. She isn't going anywhere, she can stay here with us. Um, she has been a, a great support. And his ministry has been blessed by having a wonderful woman like her. And we thank you for all you have done. And so next Sunday we can talk. All right? And this like Vegas, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But I w want to thank you very much. Now, uh, I want to am blue from the Saturday morning crowd. <laughs> but on behalf of us all, we started to count this and it was so much, we just put everything in the bag and give it to him. All right, so with our love, we, we give you that. If you need someone to help you, um, call me. I'm free tonight, <laughs> unless somebody dies. But we congratulate you and wish you the very best. All right? No kissing him. Okay. <laughs> okay. One thing else I want to say, now that we have done that, you got to have a sense of humor. All right? Sometimes you gotta laugh some of these things off, okay? Don't cause yourself to have hard problems, understand? Sit on the porch and laugh it off. Father Nan, we're not quite finished. We have some other presentations. We have the priest warden, we have the youth choir, the prayer band. Evangelism? Father Nairn, what can I say? Whether it was by text, by WhatsApp, by phone call, the minute I heard Nisi, I knew exactly who it was. Um, this is a very genuine soul, somebody that you can call on at any point in time. And whenever you found yourself calling him to give him a little word of encouragement, he would return the favor to yes. you tenfold. Um, I will truly miss you. I want to wish you all the best. This is just a little something from me to say thank you. It doesn't include VAC, so catch that. <laughs> But I wish you all the best. Be encouraged. Stay true to yourself and true to your God. All the best. Mm -hmm. Turn around.
இருக்கு ஃபாதர் நேரன் Father Naren, on behalf of St. Agnes Youth Choir, I want to give you this small token of our love and appreciation. We thank you for your seven years of ministry here at St. Agnes, and we love you and appreciate you. Thank you. The prayer band, the Hannah and Camp families. Good afternoon, church. Father Neil Nan, it has been seven wonderful years with you and also with our family. Every time we called for you, you were there, and we want you to carry to Andrus the same hospitality that you have for people, care, and appreciation. And most of all, I would like to say, when my husband had a bleeding stroke in 2009, and I called Father Nan. He was there with him every day he was in the hospital. And I'd just like to say thank you. And they became the best of friends. So on behalf of the Kemp family and the Hannah family, we'd just like to give you the small token of our appreciation. And do the best you can in Andrew. Thank you. On behalf of the prayer band, we would like to just give Father Nairn this token. And we'd like also to say, surely goodness and mercy will follow him as we continue to follow him in our hearts. As we sing praises of songs every Friday night, we will continue to keep him in our prayers. So Father Nairn, we're going to miss you getting all the kisses on the northern side on Sundays. I know you have some left for me. You didn't give my people all of it. So give me mine now. We have um, Mr. Adam Abo on behalf of his lovely wife and himself. This is a wonderful occasion. Uh, he wants all his money in one minute. Um, first of all, I'd like to say that it's really overpowering to have a priest who is so human and so natural. A father approaches each of us with natural love. And it's therefore very easy to exist with him. I'd like to congratulate the rector because this father seems to be his best student to date. I, I've never heard father speak so affectionately, kissing, hugging, those things. He normally doesn't say that. Father had his challenge here, if I may say so. And he showed us how to carry a burden and how to carry it with dignity and with faith in God. I feel special because my wife is a Nan, and he's a Nan. Um, his dear wife is a Seymour, and my grandmother was a king. <laughs> and therefore, I said to Father, Father, I feel so fortunate to have come into a family uh, where we'll have connections in heaven. And, and we trust that you'll remember us, Father. And truly, when you go to Andrews with these crabs, um, I saw Father in the back saying, don't send the ones who ain't fat. But Father, please do well. And if you ever need us, we're here for you. Thank you. Um, uh, he does, I, you know, Father just pulled my hand and said, what about the check? You know, I don't want to be um, revealing. I don't want to be revealing, but Father, all in time. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> we have Dr. Emily Osadabe. Are there anyone else um, before we close out? A very special man in my life. Father Lane, on behalf of Justice, who is unable to be here this afternoon, but wishes you all the best. I wish to present you with this small token of our love and appreciation for all the times you've been there for us and with us. And we trust and we know that you will be OK. Please accept this small token of our love and appreciation. And may God be with you always. If there are no, no further tributes or presentations, uh, we will now invite Mrs. Danielle Dossett with a selection which will be followed by remarks by Father Neil. And then there's a selection by the choir and a hymn and the benediction will be done. and the benediction by Bishop Gomez, in that order.
I want to thank all of you for coming. But I pay respect to Almighty God for this opportunity as I prepare for my new assignment in a different part of God vine God's vineyard. This whole program talks about my life. I chose all of the songs, the artists, the singers, everything. I prayed about it, and this is what I came up with. The moderator is a good friend of mine, we are family, so I decided to ask Denise to be the moderator. Vanda's a friend of the family. She sang Amazing Grace to save a wretch like me. Christian and Jonathan, I remember coming here when they were wayside. Seven years later, they're taller than me. So that is a reminder of my growth in this church. And Kevin talked about his two granddaughters. Um, can you come here, please? I just want to show them how big you are now. When I first came here, they, um, they were toddlers. They couldn't even walk. They were creeping. And these are my girls. Thank you. And indeed, I wish to thank Carolyn Jervis. Um, I just love your voice. And when you sing, you run chills down my spine. <laughs> so I wanted to get some more of that before I leave, so I asked you to sing. He raised me up because only God could have raised me to this level. So I thank God for that. And Camille Delavo. I met her the first time at Holy Trinity, Holy Trinity and uh, I just like the way she sings as well and I asked her to sing a solo and she's a member of the family as well and she graciously um, agreed to sing. And of course I call Daniel Dorset the million dollar voice. She has such a lovely voice and I know that once you continue to, to, to remain focused, you can go places. That is who? Jody? That wasn't Daniel? No. Well, anyhow, I love you all the same. <laughs> wow, the Dorset family sure have some talent. And of course, um, my St. Agnes Squire. You just do it to me. You just keep doing it to me. And I, it's just a pleasure just sitting and listen, listening to you every Sunday. And of course, I want to thank um, Mr. Ashdeacon. I need to ask a favor. I need to ask a favor of the Archdeacon. Now, you know, I don't ask so much. But when I leave, I want to take Preston with me. And I want to take Hugh O'Brien with me. And once Preston is playing the music, and you picking the hymns, we can have a church. Yeah. And the rest of you will follow. <laughs> so thank you, Preston. Um, whenever you play that, mu that music on that organ, it's, it's ministry to me, and I just can't sing. I just close my eyes, and I'm just blessed. God bless you, Preston. And I trust that I didn't miss anybody on here. I want to thank, um, of course, Archdeacon Brown and Archbishop for this marriage in Barbados for assigning me here before I even graduated, so I want to thank them. This has been a wonderful experience. This is a wonderful church, the best in the diocese, I must say. <laughs> I'll never forget you, St. Agnes, and so that I can sleep good tonight, I don't want to thank Judy. I want to thank Judy for being there with me from this was only a concept. She supported me all the way. I believe she treated me better when I was in Codrington. 
Maybe I need to go back to college. <laughs> but Junior has always been a, a strength of support. Um, trust me, Judy is my number one fan and my number one critic. <laughs> and uh, she criticized me a lot only because she wanted me to be the best. And I want to thank you for that, Judy, for being there for me. And now I'm going to save the best for last. I'm saving the best for you, St. Agnes. The members of St. Agnes that mean so much to me. I have met some wonderful people in this church. Wonderful loving, caring, and kind. And I just want to give my tribute to you in a melody of song, so I want Preston to assist me. <laughs> so this is the first one for you. <laughs> I just want to say I love you I just want to say how much I care cuz I do I just want to say I love you and I mean it from the bottom of my heart And there will always be something there to remind me Cause there will always be something there to remind me And I will always love you And you will never be free You will always be a part of me Oh yes you will And this one is for us, as we live in love and grow in love in this parish and in this diocese. And our Heavenly Father will feed us from heaven. I will never be hungry or thirsty. Fill our cups, Lord. We lift them up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting of our soul. Bread of heaven, feed us till we want no more. Fill our cups, fill it up, and make us whole. And friends, with grateful hearts, we're going to thank God for all that he has done for us. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures happy. As Deacon said to recognize my family, I want you all please to stand. Um, this is my father, Daddy, stand for so they can see you. As Deacon, that's, that's a short piece of leather, well put together. 
and I'm a big piece of leather. Well, put together. Put together. <laughs> Thank you. The rest of you, please stand. <laughs> Thank you very much. We'll now have a selection. I, I didn't see my cousin Ray sitting over there. Ray Nan. <laughs> We'll now have a, a final selection by St. Agnes Choir, and which will be followed by a hymn and then the benediction by Archbishop Gomez. I am grateful to have been your moderator for this evening, and I do wish you a wonderful and a blessed week. Thank you.
Thou givest them bread from heaven. Let us pray, O God, who in the wonderful sacrament has left unto us a memorial of thy passion. Grant us, we beseech thee, so to venerate the sacred mysteries of thy body and blood, that we may ever perceive within ourselves the fruit of thy redemption, who livest and reignest world without end. Amen.